this chapter we will understand the concept of wallet as a technology and data structure from a user's point of view wallet is a user interface used for buying and selling cryptocurrencies like bitcoins we have popular wallets like coinbase binance trezor and many others and one of the misconception about wallet is that wallet store bitcoins but actually that is not true bitcoins are recorded as transactions in blockchain network they are not stored in wallets wallets only store keys which control the ownership of bitcoins so technically wallet is really a data structure to store and manage users keys in terms of key management wallets can be of two types non deterministic or random wallets and deterministic or seeded wallets non deterministic wallets are just the collection of randomly generated private keys there is no relation among the keys stored in non deterministic wallets these type of wallets are a thing of past simply because it is difficult to manage import or export the keys in these wallets the first bitcoin wallet which is now called bitcoin core is an example of of a non deterministic wallet deterministic or seeded wallets are those which contain keys that are all generated from a common seed as you can imagine it is easy to manage import and export a single seed from which we can derive all the keys so let us understand deterministic wallets in detail hd wallets or hierarchical deterministic wallets are the most advanced form of deterministic wallets they came into picture as part of uh, bip32 bitcoin improvement proposal 32 hd wallets derive a tree like structure of keys from a seed so first a master key is generated from the seed then that master key generates a number of child keys each child key further generates their own child keys and this can just go on so ultimately you get a tree like structure of keys so if you remember the seed of your wallet it can be used to generate all your private keys this seed is a randomly generated number something like this as you can see this number is difficult to remember and prone to error while reading or writing so bip39 proposed the usage of mnemonic code words mnemonic code words are the sequence of words to represent a seed so for example this seed can be represented by this mnemonic code words and no doubt it is less prone to error if you want to write it down somewhere now let us understand how the seed is generated first you generate a random number or entropy of 128 bit you take the sha256 hash of that number and suffix the first four bits of this hash at the end of this entropy thus making it a 132 bit value you then divide it in 12 segments of 11 bit each bit 39 has a lookup of english words for each of the 11 bit number so you replace each 11 bit segment by bit 39 english word and in this way you get the mnemonic code words you then use a key stretching function called pbkdf2 to derive a 112 bit seed there are two parameters to this function first parameter is the mnemonic words that you have and second parameter is something called salt this salt is combination of a constant word called mnemonic and the optional passphrase this passphrase is a very useful thing and though it is optional i will always recommend to use it you can use any word or sentence as a passphrase something which is easy for you to remember and you don't need to write it anywhere for example i love my cold coffee now you pass mnemonic code words and salt in pbkdf2 function and you will get a 512 bit seed you don't need to write down this seed anywhere and as you can see this seed is long with jumbled alphabets and numbers so if you try to write it on a piece of paper there are chances that you make mistakes problem is that if you lose your wallets and the seed that you have jotted down on a piece of paper is actually wrong then there is no way for you to recover your wallet and you lose all your funds and that's why instead of noting down the seed you should note down mnemonic code words and your wallet can always derive seed from mnemonic code words but what if your mnemonic code words are stolen suppose you wrote that code word on some notepad or piece of paper and that paper got stolen and the thief realizes that it is actually mnemonic code words for a wallet he can recreate your wallet and steal all your funds so to avoid this type of situation it was recommended to use optional passphrase If you use passphrase then even if someone get mnemonic code words he can't do anything because mnemonic code words without passphrase are useless 
and that's why I said your pass phrase should be an easy to remember sentence which you don't need to write down anywhere. So in this chapter we learned the definition of wallets, the type of wallets in terms of key management, what is an HD wallet, the concept of seed, mnemonic code words and pass phrase in HD wallets. In next chapter we will understand the details of extended keys in which I will cover different types of child key derivations and the concept of normal child key and hardened child key. See you there with my code coffee. If you now want to move to the next chapter, you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.